Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. This has been a long awaited RV for us. Today we'll be looking at the 2025 Winnebago Echo. Now we're not going to call this an Echo because this is a Sprinter chassis Echo. Very different than that Ford Transit. So we're going to call this the Spreco. Um, this particular Echo is a wonderful uh, example of the new Juniper interior. So for those of you that have been on the forums or looking online and for these colors, you get to take a look at that today. And as usual, I'm so excited about this. Let's go ahead and start our video from the inside out. Jody, please go ahead and take her on back. So when we walk into this bedroom, one of the things you'll notice is that we've got a nice light oatmeal color and the flooring is a really cool mesh flooring that's gonna be very easy to take care of. Um, super love the way that they've set this up. Now, one of the things that's nice about this is that you'll see you still have like a little light down here. So you've got the ability to see what you're doing at night. And then you've got all of your great cabinet storage here underneath. And these cabinets are going to be uh, 16 inches deep or wide across the entrance, 28 inches tall, and then 26 inches deep. You'll notice this one's gonna have a little bit of a lip underneath it, so it won't have quite as much hanging space, but nice deep cabinets. We also have this really fantastic mattress system. I know we've seen this before, uh, but this Fraley mattress system is going to give you that same feel as you would have if you had a nice uh, box spring mattress at home. And then I wanted to show you this as well. This is a two twin setup right now, but you could have a queen setup. If you do the two twin though, uh, one of the things that's nice is you've got this really cool mattress fabric that's designed to actually be a cool wicking. So it's gonna be cooler for you when you're actually in your camper so you're not going to get so hot at night. Another feature I wanted to just show is this great table that you have in between. So if you are in a position where you wanna sit up, maybe hang out, read a book, you can go ahead and keep your coffee cup or your, your soda pop here. You've got a nice little station here. And then this, these are my friends, Brian and Jan. This is their coach. Uh, they came in and picked it up. We actually had ordered the exact same one uh, for a factory delivery. We were aiming for mid-June. And this came in on Friday. And honestly, I can't tell you how excited I am for them. These are the most fantastic, fabulous people you've ever met. And I'm so excited that they're going to be out there in the world helping us to understand and learn more about all of the great ways you can use your Spreco. Uh, so I love the fact that they have these really nice lifts. They're actually spring loaded, so they go right up. You've got a ton of cabinet space on both sides. And also you've got great connectivity. So you've got, you know, your typical uh, plug-in, like, you know, you, I don't know what you would use it for to blow up your air mattress, maybe. <laughs> No, uh, you can plug your radar detector in there. Uh, no, but then you've got a Type C and a USB port, as well as two 110s. And then, as you can see here, there's this little grommet that comes through that you can open and close. That way, you can run all of your cords through. And that's going to be on both sides uh, that you've got these nice spring loaded cabinets. And then, another thing I wanted to talk about I love the fact that you don't just have uh, your regular light, you also have the blue light. So, if you're looking for something just to be like a little bit of a night light while you're coming into your coach at night, You've got this nice blue light that you can use. And again, that is also on both sides. Another great feature of, of course, most of our Winnebago products are these wonderful shades. So here is your screen, right? Here's your blackout shade. You're gonna find this in both of these windows. So huge openings. But what I have open here, so this is a fire escape window, which is why the handles are red. You can do, you can operate both windows the same way though. Um, I have this little guy here and he's locked into this little center latch. So if you close the window all the way, this would be your tight seal on these nice dual pane acrylic windows. But if you go here, you can actually see there's just a little lip of air. So you could let the, the fresh air flow into the coach or you could open this all the way. And then you could also have it open all the way with your screen closed and have all of that fresh air coming into the RV. I just think this is the most fantastic thing. Um, another nice feature about this is that we do have a centrally ducted air conditioning system. So you can see some vents here. This is a 13 point, uh, 13,500 BTU air conditioning system. And then up here on the left hand side, we also have a cable connect as well as two 110 outlets. So lots of power there as well. Um, again, Winnebago does a fantastic job about provisioning uh, for us all of our space. Now these drawers also, really nice roomy drawers. And I'll show you here, we've got measurements for you. 
So 25 inches uh, deep, 13 inches wide. Let me go turn my phone off, Jody. I'm sorry, folks, I never have it on anything but silent. There we go, I'll turn that, right, turn that down right now. Okay, so tw again, 25 inches deep, or um, wide and 13 inches deep. This is a great place to be able to keep all of your, you know, socks, underwear, shorts, things like that. But I also wanted to measure this cabinet because of course these are adjustable shelves, but look at this 24 inches tall, 12 inches wide and 13 inches deep. If you have a coffee maker or anything along those lines, you're welcome to do that. Of course, we've got our beautiful Greystone microwave, a very, very uh, time tested, durable microwave. We've got this in a lot of our products. And then I love this beautiful stainless steel round sink. What a great idea. It gives you all that much more space for larger pots and pans. And even nicer than that, if you look at the back side of these, you've got your integrated bamboo cutting boards as well as your faucet, which is going to be removable for pour or spray. So you can get everything all the way around those edges. And as you can see here, I've got one of our screens deployed here so that we can have some nice uh, fresh air if we wanted to open this up as well on our cooking surface. Um, our countertop here is 40 inches wide, 21 inches deep. Lots of connectivity again for your coffee pots. We've got these great little puck lights, which are so cool. Instead of having to worry about running around and like finding a light switch, everything is just here at the touch of a button. Uh, lots and lots of drawer space. In this top drawer, we have our true induction cooktop. One of the most important things to mention about this, I use my true induction cooktop all of the time and I don't use it in the coach. I use it outside on my, on my picnic table. We make our bacon out there, we make our French toast and you can really set this true induction to go to a, a specific uh, temperature. So for instance, I like my eggs at 360 degrees. Uh, you can also choose one through five. So you can choose your favorite setting and be able to cook to a very specific temperature at any altitude because of the fact that this is an induction cooktop running uh, on an induction pan as opposed to an open flame. So the very cool thing about that. Um, again, huge drawer space here. Ooh, I didn't measure the drawers, Jody. Thank goodness I have my handy dandy measuring tape right here. He's got this smile on his face. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go with 16 inches wide. We're gonna go with about four inches tall and we'll go with 17 inches deep. So just good information for those of you that are really kind of honing in on your purchase. Uh, I've got five of these coming in right now. Um, so again, another great cooktop. This fits right here inside of this drawer, giving you an even larger amount of extendable counter space. So we love that feature here. So if you need to have a little more cook prep room, you've got that right there. Um, and along with all of that extra storage space, I'm sorry, there we go. Um, we also have a great amount of space here underneath. And what I did is I went ahead and I put this Winnebago bag in here so you can see how deep this goes. That's about the, the, the amount of space that you have to go back here. But you'll notice underneath here, we also have our whole our water filter. So if you are camping off grid and you wanna be able to drink the water that you've got coming into the coach, uh, you can do that through your tanks. But if you're doing a fresh water fill and you wanna make sure you've got some nice filtered water, you also have that. Now, one of the things that has really revolutionized uh, the whole entire industry in this coach is how all weather uh, this coach is, of course, because of the way that it's constructed. This is a very, this is our most uh, weatherproof coach out of anything that we manufacture. The Echo will be able to get you down to those lowest temperatures. Um, but on top of it, the other thing that really revolutionized um, the RV industry about this coach is this bathroom here. So what's so neat about this bathroom is you can see here, I've got it opened up. This is going to be with your getting ready for bed, using the facilities type of setting. And again, I love the sustainable materials that they have in here, like that bamboo shower floor. Um, but then here's all of your storage up here for your um, toothpaste and toiletries, which is just so nice. Another, again, opening window, same situation where you could set that to the mid entry so that you've always got fresh air in there, but it's still locked or you could spring it open, open it all the way. There's two 110 outlets down there as well, so you can plug in your hair dryer. Uh, but what's more important about this is if you are interested in having a lot of room in your shower, not any other RV that I can think of has this much room uh, available in the same bathroom while using so little space. This is such a smart design on the part of Winnebago. 
This is, you know, you've got your nice uh, shower curtain. You've got a robe hook here, a robe hook here. Uh, so you can keep your towels nicely nestled inside of your shower area. And then go ahead and just open this back up, put them away. Uh, it snaps into place. There's a little snap up here on the top left hand corner. Just really, really cool feature. And then you'll note that you have access to your water pump right here. You can turn your water pump on and off. And they also give you an access point for this in your outdoor, outdoor bay. So if you need to turn your water pump on outdoors, you don't have to run back inside to turn that on. Um, the Flying W here is, of course, a great place to hang your coat, uh, your umbrella, whatever it is that you might need. And then you'll see, I really like this little top spot up here because you're always looking for a place where you can put in a few containers. And as you can see here, this is going to be 8 inches tall, 15 inches deep, I'm, yeah, 15 inches wide, I'm sorry, this is the width, and then 19 inches deep. So a lot of great space up there. Uh, of course, we have our ZAMP system here. So uh, we have 530 watts of solar on top of this coach. That is really, really impressive. Uh, Winnebago does this through a, a, through a three panel system. Um, you also have, again, a ducted air conditioning system. You have great heat in this coach. You've got your Xantrex inverter. All of these things, of course, are powering things like your 5.3 cubic foot uh, mi uh, microwave. <laughs> Man, that would be one big microwave. Um, but no, so this is a great, uh, great freezer, refrigerator combo. Again, for something that doesn't have slides, to have so much space is so exciting. And I should pull this out because I just think it's so smart. You know, so you can adjust your, uh, your bin size. But really, what's so nice about this is to be able to stack up some apples, some bananas, and then to be able to get your lettuce and tomatoes, all of your vegetables into a little space where you're going down the road. You can keep everything stowed inside. And then your uh, storage here is adjustable. So you can change the height that you have here. I guess you could call Winnebago and order a few extra ones so you could get a whole 12 pack in that door. No, I'm just kidding. Who drinks beer when they're camping? Okay, so this is one of my most exciting uh, features about this coach. This is a 27 by 30 table. Um, so I love this table. As you can see, it can slide. So you can change its positioning. And when Brian and Jan were here, we were talking about some of the things that we thought were so spectacular about this RV. But one of the things that you get with the Sprinter chassis, which to be honest with you, we went from a length of 23 feet on our Ford Transit to 24.6 on the Sprinter chassis. Um, our wheelbase went from 156 to 170. So really not a whole lot of extra length, but there's so much extra capacity in here to be able to turn this around. You could literally have five people sitting at this table, playing cards, drinking beer, hanging out late into the night, having so much fun in this configuration. And you don't have to have the table in place. The table is actually very easy to stow and put away. So this is one of my favorite new features. Again, this is a 27 by 30 table, completely adjustable. You don't need to have these chairs turned around. Um, but I thought it was such an interesting, um, it, it, an interesting uh, advantage to this coach that I really wanted to show that you could really have a lot of friends in here playing cards. Because I think that that happens a lot if the weather's, you know, rainy and it's just not nice outside. Everyone's like, whose coach are we going to? Whose tent are we going to hang out in? And I think this would definitely be the popular place to be. Uh, now, this is the optional uh, television. So this is a really nice high definition insignia TV. You also have a fantastic sound bar. Um, and what's nice about this, this is just giving you, again, that connectivity so that if you are having you know, a rainy day where there's not much to do outside. You can't take that normal hike that you would be out taking. It's nice to be able to sit in and with your loved ones and watch a movie and hang out and relax. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this table up. So let me move my clipboard over here. Um, so this is a very smart little system. Make sure my table leg isn't connected. And I've got to look and find where my snap is. There we go. My snap is going to be on top. So this is the snap I'm talking about. And the reason I need to know that is because that's going to show me where to put this table back. And so I just come down here. I'm going to move my curtain out of the way. Here, you can see where this, this stows right here into this nice little compartment. And keep in mind, um, as I put this away, there's also another access point here to your water pump. So again, Winnebago is so smart about how they do these things. Everything just kind of slides in nice and easy. 
into this great little compartment right here. And then you know you're in the right place because you've got your snap here for security just to make sure that it doesn't go flying out while you're driving down the road. And you slide it all the way in. Drop your curtain, no one can see it. And again, there's another access point for your water pump. Just really cool how Winnebago integrates everything here. Um, you also have a nice access point to your fuse panel right here as well. And then all of your controls to turn the coach on and off. I, I like this placement much better. It's high up. You can see everything. It's at eye level when you come in. You've got your carefree awning, your coach connect, your step. Um, you can turn this on and off. I have it on right now because I want to show you how it works. All your light switches. And again, you've got a, you know, a few outlets here. There's also some up here left, to the left of the window. Um, there's really connectivity all over this coach. And then when I turn this table leg out, I can go ahead and put this in the back. And I'm going to convert this front space into your driving space. So the only cushion that you don't need, we'll take both of these off. And oh, I, I think, so Brian was showing me and I think it was a really important feature. This, this is the cushion that goes here. You can tell because it covers this lip, um, but this is such a cool feature. So we're just gonna remove our cushions here. And I love this Juniper interior. One of the things that we really liked about this is this really cool, uh, it's got a great hand to, handle to it, a nice color for this gray uh, interior. And then we're gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy up for when you're not having a party. You can slide this out. Oh, and I want you to also make sure we can see that seat belt that comes over here, Jody, before I put this back. So you've got your seat belt there. So you've got a, uh, and then this can also be removed. So you could keep that in place or not. Oh, shoot. I forgot to show you. When you have that whole entire thing put together, the width of that with all cushions intact and the table in place is 42 inches wide. And it, the, the seat depth for your legs, that, it's like that support, I guess, that you get is 19 inches. So I know that this is important to some people. Now, you guys, there's a lot of different approaches to videos out there. I know mine is not everyone's favorite. I know some people love them. If you don't love my video, it's totally fine with me. We have so many great videographers here. Um, and there's people like Mark Love. Uh, there's people like Grant that do just such a great job. So you can really, you can really work with anyone that you like um, on these videos. You don't have to watch mine. I'm gonna just go ahead and do, take this away. Turn this this way. So if you wanted to have the maximized amount of space going down the road, while you know you're in motion to work look at how much space you have here this is such a nice feature and again you don't have to have this whole table in place you could put this down as well so it's easier to get through but if you are going down the road and you're trying to get some work done and you, you're maybe you're the navigator and then you've got the captain driving you can get all of that work done sitting here in this nice location and then you also have another seat belt here um, for another passenger. And the reason I think that this is such an important thing to mention is because if anyone has kids, you know how these children are. They don't want to sit next to each other. So you've got two seats, a forward facing that you could use with a, um, that you could use with a, with a car seat. And then you also have this one here. So big wide lap belt here. So this is a ton of extra space uh, beyond what we've had historically in our Echo chassis. And then another great cabinet here, 14 inches tall, 16 inches wide, um, a great amount of space. There is a little bit of a lip in the back, so know that that's not a square location, which is why I did not measure depth. Um, and then you have all of this track here where you can put in an iPad, you could, you could hang things, uh, your, your keys, for instance, when you get to your location, you could put your hats up there. I mean, you could use it with carabiners, whatever you like. And again, another one of these great puck lights, giving you all of that connectivity. So now that we have this uh, situation identified, I'm gonna put this down and I wanna cover just a little bit, to be honest with you, about the chassis. So an important thing about me, I spent my first 20 years selling Audis and Mercedes. Um, I spent 12 years with Mercedes. I built my own uh, 170, just like this, uh, wheelbase. 
a Sprinter van into an RV in 2014. And I put seven years on it, 80,000 miles on it. I've got tons of feedback for anyone who's thinking about building their own. Highly would recommend choosing another manufacturer to make your product for you. We had a great experience, but I'll tell you, Winnebago does way better than even my local van upfitter could do. Um, but one thing I want to mention is I'm really familiar with this head unit here. And what's important about that is this head unit has so much important functionality. You know, there's so many things that you can do uh, with this Mercedes-Benz chassis, but I have been selling Mercedes-Benz with this Tronic since they actually started making it in 2003. So this adaptive cruise control, the lane tracking package, all of those things are absolutely amazing features of this coach. Um, and it's so important that you understand how to connect your embrace system so that you can use your emergency roadside or your, uh, I'm sorry, your emergency roadside or your uh, SOS button. Um, it's so important that you understand um, how to uh, make the settings for your uh, Distronic and your lane tracking package specific to you so that it's a comfortable experience for you because this is a really advanced, fantastic chassis that really mirrors a lot of what you see in the Mercedes-Benz product. And it's important also to note that your steering wheel controls over here on the left are controlling this head, head unit over here on the left. And I actually have this van running. I know you can't hear it, it's so quiet. Um, but the reason I have this set up this way is I want people to see how much you can do on this system. Um, and then all of those same controls that you have there are here on this side. So as you're going down the road, you can really get this set up so that it's very comfortable and your eyes are on the road, you're looking forward. Um, it's a great, great feature of this coach. Um, you also have a really nice climate control system here. Now this is great because in um, a lot of our chassis, when you turn your heat on, it just stays on until it gets hot. Um, in the uh, Sprinter chassis, you have a whole lot of niceties like climate control where you can set it to be 72 so the heat and the air conditioning will work interchangeably until you get to your preferred temperature and you won't look up and realize that it's probably 90 degrees in the cab. Okay, so we got that locked into place. So now you know that these are swivel seats. The other thing to note about these seats is they are also, um, they are also powered with memory programmable settings here and they are also heated. So you have three settings for programming on each side. You also have heat on both of your front seats and they are also memory programmable. Another nice thing to note about this chassis though that, is that this is actually a workhorse, right? So this chassis is, uh oh, something stuck there. Uh, this, ha this, work, this chassis is something that is, uh oh, I'm not lacing. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that before I break something. Um, a workhorse, so it's got all of this extra storage. You've got extra cup holders. You have all of this nice pocket space so that you can put things here. You have more pocket space up here because keep in mind, a lot of people that are using this coach on a day-to-day -day basis are using this for work. So you've got a place to keep all of your maps, all of your passes, all of your park information right up front. And then great little pockets here to put like your cell phone. You could fit 500 pairs of sunglasses there. It might be an exaggeration. Small cup holders, large cup holders, water bottle uh, holders here in the door. So if you can look over here, you can actually fit a full size hydro, hydro flask in here. Um, so just really, really nice features there. Um, I love the way you can change all of your um, vents so that they're specifically pointing at you no matter how short or tall you are. It's always a problem I run into. Um, now keep in mind, when you turn your seat around, you cannot have your brake engaged. So that's the only downfall that I've seen thus far. And the only reason I say that's a downfall is because you can't open your awning without having your brake engaged because it doesn't want you to drive down the street with your awning on. So if you have your seats turned around and you want to put your awning out, you have to turn the seat around so you can put the brake up. That's the only downside. Um, paddle shifters for speed control, right? So you can downshift and upshift here on the back of your steering column. This is a race steering wheel. That's why they have these thumb notches so that you can tell where 12 o'clock is and where nine and three is. Um, but this is a really nice uh, steering wheel that we have. It's all leather wrapped. Uh, your stock control is pretty cool because when you put the coach into reverse, it's gonna show you behind you. You can see our there's our bat wing awning deployed. And then when you put the coach into drive or park, your nav comes back up. But keep in mind, we have our whole entire rear view mirror now on full time. 
This is a big deal for us. Uh, historically, with a Navion, if you were driving anywhere over seven miles per hour, it would turn off. And that's super annoying because if there's someone that you're trying to pass and you want to see if you've gotten past them, this is a great way to be able to see whether or not you pass them. The other thing that's nice about this, though, is I can use this to put my lip gloss on. So I love the fact that you can actually turn this into a regular mirror or just simply turn it up and turn it into a full-time rearview mirror for safety. Um, another feature for those of you that are a little taller, you can extend the seat so it pops out so it gets longer. Um, overall, just, you know, five stars for this cab for the functionality within it. And then another great feature of it, of course, is the fact that you can get in and out and back to your bathroom while you're going down the road. You can make me a sandwich. Um, now, something I think that Winnebago did that was so smart in this Echo, and I hope that you'll find that they start to mirror it uh, throughout the rest of their product line, is this door here. So this screen door um, initially had the screen on the inside and the metal on or the metal on the outside and the screen on the inside. Uh, they did make that correction. So if you have a fine furry friend and you lock this deadbolt, right? So no one can get into your coach. You can leave the door open with your dog in the coach and not worry about your dog jumping through the screen. Um, I, I mean, most people who are camping don't have three French bulldogs like I do. They have actual dogs that you can take camping which is a great idea. And not that I don't love my Frenchies, I love my Frenchies. But I'll tell you, one of the benefits of having a nice big dog is that you can take that dog hiking. One of the disadvantages is that they will not be held uh, in the coach by that screen unless you've got something like that metal barrier, which I think is so nice. Um, another benefit of this coach when we talk about doors is the fact that because Winnebago is making uh, this door, you know, they're using all of their own technology to e-coat and make these steel frames. They can make their own product because they do make up to 75% of their product uh, per coach. Um, this door is made of the same material as this coach is made of, as this door is made of. So this great foam material, um, which is, you know, not wood, it's, it's not Luan, it's not going to have that same kind of delimination issue that you have from some other products. But this is the same material here as your door is. So everything will have a homogenized existence as it goes through. Um, you'll note here, this flooring is really important. Um, this is, if you've ever seen like uh, the inside of an air cup when you've got those 12 hour long um, coffee cups that will keep your, co your, hot, your coffee hot for 12 hours, that's that same technology. So that's in the flooring, as you can see here, very, very robust very thick paneling, keeping your insulation in. Nice uh, nice cabinetry here, plenty of room to keep some extra stuff. Um, again, Winnebago does such a great job. This is a vented compartment as well. And then here you'll see that we have two 110 outlets as well as your cable. And then again, this is where I would use that nine volt to plug up my air or my to inflate my paddle board, probably more so than the one above the bed. I still don't know what you'd use above the bed. Um, for that nine volt, but I'm sure someone will call me and tell me. Um, this is another fantastic and huge um, step forward in the RVing community to be able to have a propane system with 40 gallons of propane that is removable that you could just go down to Home Depot or Costco or Ace. Every camping town has an Ace hardware. Uh, any gas station to get your propane filled and then also having your quick connect right here off of the back of the coach. I mean, this is such a really nice system. And you can set this so that it's using one tank at a time or so that it's using both bilaterally. Um, you also have the ability to uh, winterize your vehicle very easily with, uh, with the Truma AquaGo system, which is of course giving you tankless hot water. So you've got a 50 gallon water capacity, a 51 gallon gray water capacity, but you have tankless hot water. So if you are plugged into city water, which you can do on this coach. You are not relegated to having to fill your tanks. This actually could have um, a tank system that you could literally uh, plug into city water, state camping, plugged into 30 amp for as long as you like. Um, you could literally just camp like you would in one of these big buses over here. Uh, now in the transit chassis, we are a little shorter in this bay. So you're, you've gained four inches in storage back here. Uh, you can really see it. It looks quite a bit more substantial. You've got your nice Molly panel here. 
This would be a great place to like have a carabiner that hangs up your outdoor gloves. Cause you know, all of your snowboard gear has your gloves on a carabiner anyway. You could hang your bike helmets, any of those things. And then you can, because you've got access on all three sides here, you could pick a place like maybe this gear garage over here is where you hang all the barbecue equipment. Maybe you keep your outdoor gear over here underneath your batwing awning so that when you're getting ready, if it's snowy outside and cold, you can go ahead and stay underneath here and get your you know, ski gloves on. Um, all of those things are accessible from all these different panels, which is so nice. And I do have this batwing deployed today because I think this is such a nice feature. The sun does not go where we want the sun to go. The sun goes wherever she'd like to be. I think it is so nice that you're able to have sun protection. And I mean, I'm not the tallest person in the world, but you know, pretty much anyone can hang out underneath here. You could stow your bikes. You could have your chairs out here hanging out with buddies, especially if you're out in BLM land where you're not relegated to a particular side of the coach for your, um, for your camping. But it would be so nice to have a little bit of extra protection. And so this Batwing awning uh, deploys really easily. It stows really easily. And it gives you so much protection from the elements. Such a fantastic design. Um, I know everyone talks about how it's out of South Africa, but really these guys have got different elements in that part of the world than we do here in the US. And um, this was probably a necessity, you know, when you're out there under that crazy sun, but you can also buy an apparatus where you can create entire screened in rooms. So if you are like up in Tahoe camping where there's a ton of mosquitoes, um, you could actually be sitting outside and relaxing outside of your RV, not in your RV, after your fishing trip without getting eaten alive, which is pretty attractive to me. Um, so we've got a 5,000 pound towing capacity, seven pin connector. Uh, of course, one of the things you know that I learned in selling Mercedes Benz, uh, we were, the, they, they patent everything, first of all, but they did these LED brake lights because the stop time and the alert to the person behind you when you are stopping is so much faster. I also think they look pretty slick. Um, but just a really, really cool uh, execution by Mercedes-Benz and integrated into this beautiful Echo. Uh, as you can see, we've got an overhead light here, another switch for your, auto, for your water pump. This is a very easy water bay to work with. As you can see, it's huge. It also has a nice place to be able to hang a towel up here. Uh, everything is very easily or, or very clearly labeled. It's very simple to use. And as you can see, you're not trying to get your black water hose or your gray water hose through a little tiny drain. You've got a big drain here underneath. Uh, you just cover that up. Your gray tank, of course, is going to give you the ability to, oh, another, another towel holder as well. Um, but your gray tank is going to give you the ability to plug into 30 amp right here through your Furion system. And I love it. This little guy, when you get the power and it's actually making, when it's making juice happen, it glows. It's kind of neat. Uh, this is for your auxiliary uh, uh, solar panels. So you've got three solar panels on top. One's 100 watts. The other ones are 215. So you've got two 215 watt panels and then 100 and one, I'm sorry, one 100 watt panel, which is giving you a total of 530 watts of solar on top. But if you need more, or maybe you're parked under a tree, having the ability to plug in a panel here outside, run that over to where you've got a sunny spot so you're getting better, uh, better solar power will really help you when you're out boondocking in that you know outdoor space. Um, now down here, this coach has the 200 or the 2500 ILP uh, quiet gas generator. This is gonna be running off of LP. Again, 40 gallons of LP, you saw that over there. Um, so great feature here. And then this is a pump system that you have that's gonna allow us to drain our water, get it where it needs to go. Uh, this is a 320 amp hour battery. As you can see, there is room for a second 320 amp hour battery. So if you wanted to add that, you certainly could. Um, I would try it out first, see if it's really necessary, especially being given that you can drive this coach. It's got a second alternator to charge your batteries. Uh, you can run your generator to charge your batteries. Uh, you've got solar to charge your batteries. You may not need a second battery, but if you do, there is room for one. Uh, they initially were gonna do a, an available option where you could do a standard 630 amp uh, lithium ion battery which, with a generator delete feature. That is no longer an option. Uh, right now, if you decided to get the Lithionics package with the upgraded lithium system from the factory, you'll just get two 320 amp hour 
lithium-ionic batteries. You will not get a, a 630 amp hour battery. Um, I talked to our rep this morning and we had uh, to correct one of the brochures that's online uh, because it's still being advertised that way. It's no longer going to be packaged that way, which to me makes more sense, to be honest with you. If I have to replace a battery, I think I'd rather have the option of replacing one than having to replace one big one. So I think it's a good move on Winnebago's part. I'm not sure if that's what fed into it, but that's how it's gonna work. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this now, but I wanted to show you, I love the fact that you've got these like little hinges or these little, these little clips up top. So you can see, you can really get everything to stick up and out of your way. And then another feature that they, that they improved is that when you lock these little cabinets now, there's a specific place where they lock to so you know that they're closed. Now, um, there is a conversion system if you'd like to make this so that you can just do black water dump directly from the coach. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. Honestly, this is one of the nicest things is that you can remove this without moving. Um, I'll tell you, from just being a big coach owner, uh, sewage tanks, even if you got, I have a 40 gallon sewage tank, after four or five days, man, I gotta dump that, it's gross. And this coach, I wouldn't have to move my coach to dump it. I could literally take this over to any truck stop, to any toilet and dump this tank and then stay camped out, set up where I am without having to move my RV. So I really like this aspect of the system. I kind of wish that they would have something like this for my Superstar where I would be able to, you know, choose not to use my black tank and choose to use a cassette toilet, but I can't do that, it's okay. I'm not gonna complain, this is like a first world problem, right? Okay, so covered all this stuff. Um, so one of the things I, I kind of wanted to go through and talk about some of the differences. The fuel capacity on this coach is gonna be 24.5 gallons. Uh, the Transit had a 31 gallon fuel capacity. So, you know, a little more capacity, but the Transit's gas and this is diesel. So if you get a little more bang for your buck with diesel, probably pretty equal performance. Uh, this was in the teens when it arrived here, 14.1 miles per gallon uh, from its delivery from the factory to us for 850 miles. Um, I think you're gonna see, you know, I, I usually saw somewhere between 17 and 13 miles per gallon, depending on uh, where I was driving and whether I was going up or down hills uh, in our coach. Um, the other difference, okay, so again, we talked about this inside, but 23 gallon, I'm sorry, 23 feet long versus 24 and a half. So really only about 18 inches difference between these coaches. Uh, so not a huge amount of, of increase on size, but a pretty significant wheelbase increase. So 170 inch wheelbase with your dualies is gonna give you that more robust uh, back end, giving us a little bit better capacity to carry a little more stuff. Uh, you still have a 1,200 and, let's go ahead and turn this bad boy off. Oh, and I didn't talk about that. Push button start, how amazing is that? I love that stuff. Um, keyless go, push button start. I mean, all the cars should have that. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, so 1,221 uh, pounds of storage available on this coach. Now keep in mind, you've got to put some water on board if you're going down the road and you want to have a little bit, but you are going to put in, if you were to max out your water, it would be 433 gallons of water. I would highly recommend getting that out on board after you arrive at your location. Um, some other little just quick tips and tricks I wanted to mention. This is where you adjust your steering column. Your steering column is telescopic, in and out, up and down. Um, also, I wanted to talk about the fact, what did I want to talk about, Jody? Oh yeah, so you've got your air, your lumbar support is pneumatic. It can go up and down as well as in and out. So that's a really nice feature of this coach. Uh, your mirrors are power on top, manual on bottom but those bottom mirrors are great for seeing everything. You've got one touch power windows. I know we talked about the heated seats, which is a super nice feature. Um, but so overall, the entry into this uh, cab is super easy. Lots of handles to grip onto. You've got a place you can tie your cooler to, your dog, your boyfriend, your bike, whatever it is that you might need to tie to that coach, you can do that right here. Um, but overall, super cool coach. And then um, your diesel fuel station is here. The reason I think it's important to mention that to you is because when I uh, built my boyfriend his Sprinter, I had people who got gas for me. I never had to go gas my own Sprinter before. And uh, he went out of town and he said, hey babe, can you get my, my Sprinter filled up for me so when I get back I can take off, we got this big business trip, blah, blah, blah. Sure honey, no problem. I go to the gas station and I'm like literally like, walking around the RV like looking for the gas fill, could not find it, had to 
go look at a YouTube video. And this is, keep in mind, circa 2014, so that was not as easy to find. Now, I did want to mention today that we do have our graphics here. So I know we talked about that Juniper interior. We have a lot of people who order this van with graphics delete. I have to tell you, stickers do age. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. This is not a full paint finish, but these type of stickers are really cool. I don't think that if this was to fade a little bit that you would be like, oh my God, that looks so garish. It's not like those really weird waves and stuff that you see. Um, so this is a really nice, I think, feature of this coach that you have a little bit of, um, as Brian would say, the Epcot Center on the back. I think it's cool. I think it gives it a little more definition, a little more fun. Um, in terms of ground clearance, eight and a quarter in the rear, there's a little knuckle down there. That's where your all wheel drive system is. That's where your eight and a quarter comes from. And then about 10 here in the front. So a much beefier uh, suspension system offered to us on this coach. And then another nice feature about this coach is that this is gonna be the high output engine. So this is gonna be, uh, Mercedes-Benz has a four cylinder that has a lower output. This is gonna be the higher output engine. So better torque and better fuel efficiency um, as well as more power. And then as you can see here, very nice clean design. DEF is very easy to access. In my old days, I had a harder to get to DEF tank and if you spilled it on side the engine, it got really hot and stinky. Um, also, to jump your coach, you're gonna twist this guy and then push this in. And then you put your teeth on there, that's where you attach your positive. And then if you let it go, it'll just go right back out so it keeps it from being exposed to the elements automatically. And then your negative ground is right here. And then of course right here you have your windshield washer fluid as well. Um, I also, oh, one of the reasons I had this coach on. Oh, there goes the world, Jody. There goes the world. I wanted to show you these headlights. So one of the things that's so cool about these headlights is this feature right here where you can see it's glowing. So these are really great oncoming fog lamps. These are on all the time. These high definition lamps though, uh, they have an automatic feature to them. So when you are going down the road, they'll go on to bright automatically and then they'll dim automatically around oncoming drivers so that you aren't blinding oncoming traffic. Now, of course, we all know what an aftermarket oncoming headlight feels like when you're you know, tracking down the road and you have someone who's coming in who's added a lithium ion uh, or adding, added a high, high definition light to their coach aftermarket. You know, it's almost blinding and actually quite dangerous. Um, so, you know, the, this adaptive headlight control, the adaptive cruise control, uh, they have an alert assist, which is kind of funny. Um, I also call it bad driver assist. If you are habitually like weaving in and out of the lanes and the car thinks that you're, think you're falling asleep while you're driving, it'll turn on a notification and tell you to wake up or drive better. Um, <laughs> if, I, if, if Lorenzo is watching this, Lorenzo called me one day and he had just got his new Mercedes and he was driving back to New Mexico. And he's like, why does this coffee cup keep turning on? I'm not even tired. And that's how the alert system used to turn on for their Mercedes Benz. And I was like, no comment, Lorenzo, no comment. Because of course it meant that he's probably just not a very good driver. <laughs> oh, I could just wait for the comments on this one. Anyway, uh, we're still friends. It's been probably 15 years at this point since I sold him his first Mercedes. But um, for anyone who's got any kind of questions, I guess I should close this up for the glamor shot. Um, I'll put this back away. Uh, you know, like I said, everyone's got different videos. Everyone's got different content. Um, everyone does different things. The cool thing is, I'm littering. Uh, the cool thing is I've owned this product, had this product, I've camped in this product. I've never think, seen anything as cool as this Echo. Uh, I feel very capable in helping you to get into, the, we, I sold the first one here, as you can see. So Brian and Jan, uh, thanks for being so fabulous. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for being so supportive of our organization. We can't wait to support you. Um, but yeah, I feel like I could really help you in your quest to get on the road and camping. So let me know how I can help. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Um, I'll come to you live every Monday at 10.30. And thanks so much for tuning in.